Xbox Game Pass has provided us with some incredible experiences so far this year and is showing no signs of slowing down. July is stacked with huge releases coming to Xbox Game Pass and plenty of these games are day one onto the service. Today we will be covering the 16 games coming to Xbox Game Pass this July. My name is Fletcher, this is Xbox Nation. Subscribe for more Xbox Game Pass updates every single week and let's dive right in. Starting on the 3rd of July and making a great return to the Xbox Game Pass library is Journey to the Savage Planet. In this game you take control as an employee of Kindred Aerospace, the fourth best interstellar exploration company. You are dropped onto an uncharted, far off rock filled with danger, mystery and many smelly alien creatures. In this world you will have to explore, fight, jump, scavenge, craft and explode your way across an uncharted world to determine if this strange planet is fit for human habitation. It's a fantastic game with great comedic moments and is a high recommendation from myself if you like games such as High on Life. If you're a fan of games like Super Smash or Multiverses then you need to check out Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. After the great first entry, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 burst onto the scene with new fighters, a new single player story and reworked mechanics and movesets. There's a brand new single player campaign mode that takes several cues from the roguelike genre and this time the game launched with full voice acting. This is a great addition to the Xbox Game Pass library and seeing big favourite characters like Spongebob and Garfield return in this fighting game is just so welcome. This comes to console, cloud and PC on the 3rd of July. Now if you're a fan of cricket then you'll be incredibly pleased to see Cricket24 joining the service. Cricket 24 is the culmination of a decade of cricket video game development and includes teams from every corner of the globe. Players will be able to take on major cricket nations including Australia and England in the official courses at the Ashes, West Indies, New Zealand, Ireland and so much more. Plus for the first time ever you'll be able to play with professional Indian T20 teams all set in over 50 detailed official stadiums. This game arrives onto the Xbox Game Pass library starting on the 9th of July for console cloud and pc the case of the golden idol is one game i've never heard of before but it seems to be one of those incredibly enthralling games where the concept seems so simple you're presented with a tableau often depicting some sort of murder or the aftermath of a murder using the thoughts and possessions of the people present environmental clues and logical deduction it's simply up to you to figure out exactly what happened following the travels of a mysterious golden idol with what seems to be supernatural powers the case of the golden idol Idol tells a wonderful story of intrigue, complex webs of alliances, secret cults and ruthlessness and it finally comes to the Xbox Game Pass library on the 9th of July. Neon White is a first person shooter that was released back in June 2022. Boasting a rather electric mix of genres, the game combined trigger happy gunplay with speed running focused, puzzle platforming elements and inventive card based combat mechanics. These varied gameplay elements work surprisingly well together, so much so in fact that Neon White ended up becoming one of the highest rated games of 2022. The game is finally coming to the Xbox Game Pass library this July 11th and I cannot wait for you to finally experience this game. We have had our hands on it ourselves on Xbox so make sure you subscribe for our review when it drops on the 10th of July. A game that I am incredibly excited to play is Tashir. This game came out on PlayStation consoles and the Epic Game Store a couple of years ago now and is an adventure set around New Caledonia. You'll be able to climb, glide, swim and sail your boat around a beautiful archipelago as you explore a physics driven sandbox. The Xbox version includes the game's latest update which includes 8 new soul melodies, new outfits and additional perks for wearing matching cosmetics. The game had incredible praise from game journalists and players alike and I cannot wait to dive into this on the 11th of July. In addition to the Xbox Game Pass's already impressive selection of games, co-op indie title Flock will be available on the service the same day it releases. Annapurna Interactive's Flock rolls out on the 16th of July and looks to be a fun multiplayer co-op experience experience, tasking players with adding flying creatures to their flock whilst exploring a variety of colourful areas. Flock can be enjoyed either solo or with a friend through co-op and the release date was confirmed in this new trailer which shows off several gameplay features and the game's unique art style. This looks like a great indie game for Xbox gamers so keep your eyes on this release when it arrives. Magical Delicacy was first confirmed for Xbox Game Pass last year but now fans know that they'll be able to check the game out through the subscription starting on 16th of July. Players take on the role of a witch named Flora who cooks meals and brews potions for the people of Grat. 
The game adds Metroidvania elements by making it so players are free to explore the town, but have to acquire new abilities to reach certain places. Mixing the cooking and cozy genres with Metroidvania elements is certainly an interesting move, and it will be interesting to see how it pays off once the game launches on the 16th of July. First revealed at last year's Summer Games Fest, Dungeons & Hinterberg is an indie adventure game with a stunning shell shaded art style. Part social sim and part action RPG, the game will test players with an assortment of puzzles set around the village of Hintenburg, which is a new tourist hotspot in the idyllic Austrian Alps. After the sudden appearance of magic around the village, adventurers travel from around the world for so-called slaycations. It sounds great and is a must-play for RPG fans when it comes to Xbox Game Pass as a day one release on the 18th of July. Also launching on the very same day is Flintlock The Siege of Dawn, a Souls-like action game from the makers of 2018's Ashen. After being delayed out of 2023, Flintlock was shown in detail during Xbox's recent game showcase, revealing its imminent release date and giving gamers another exciting look at his intense combat and high-flying gameplay. Flintlock The Siege of Dawn takes place in the setting of Kian, an endangered fantasy world where monstrous gods run rampant and unleash armies of the undead upon humanity. Everything we have seen so far looks fantastic, and as an RPG fan, I cannot wait for this release this July. Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess, a brand new hack and slash game, will be debuting on the Xbox Game Pass service on the July 19th. This is an action strategy game that takes place in a unique Japanese-inspired setting. You will play as a new character called So, who wields a katana and can attack their foes with all manners of sword strikes, whilst also manoeuvring around the battlefield as a fireball-like spirit. You will be able to set up your units in real time whilst attacking enemies, and this is bringing us a unique action take to the tower defense genre we have not yet seen before. I cannot wait for Capcom's new release, and we don't have to wait much longer, and there is also a free demo available now on the Xbox Store just shortly before release. What's been shown of Creatures of Ava so far has looked adorable, despite the somewhat grim outlook for its setting. For those unfamiliar with this game, Creatures of Ava is like Pokemon but with a twist. Instead of capturing creatures of battle, Creatures of Ava has players saving creatures. The game is set on a strange planet struck by a mystical infection, and it's the player's goal to explore it, save as many creatures as possible, and get to the bottom of things. It will be exciting to see all the new creatures that Creatures of Ava has to offer, and Xbox Game Pass subscribers will get to find out when the game launches on 7th of August. Sopa is inspired by the animation style of Hayao Miyazaki, Spirited Away, Coco, and The Little Prince. In it, protagonist Miho is transported to a fantasy world after attempting to get a potato for his grandmother's soup. This leads to adventures across multiple biomes, but every time Miho returns an ingredient to the kitchen, things have changed. Players can expect 3D environments set in South America, a captivating story, various exploration treks and puzzles, fun side quests and collectibles, and so much more. As it stands, it seems like Sopa also promises a gameplay experience lasting about 12 hours or so. We haven't got a solid release date for this one as of yet, however we have had word that this release will be coming out towards the end of July or sometime this August. It's definitely looking like an already stacked July, but EA Sports College Football is shaping up to be something special. The game has been in development for eons and is due out in a matter of weeks, and is poised to be the best American football game we have seen in ages. With some truly awesome gameplay improvements, we do truly hope this transition also makes its way to the Madden NFL games. It arrives onto the Xbox Series X and S consoles on the 19th of July, and Xbox Game Pass subscribers can also get a free 10-hour trial to experience this brand new release. One huge update coming this July is for X Defiant, and this is for Season 1 which drops today. I wanted to highlight this update as the game has had a staggering number of players dive into this experience, with well over 8 million in less than 2 months months. This game update brings a new faction, which are the operators from Siege, ranked game modes, brand new weapons, a new map every single month, and just so much more. This is free for all Xbox gamers, so definitely dive into this one with me if you're interested. One other update we saw land this month is for Power World. This is the first major update called Sakurajima Update, and it is available right now. This includes being able to explore a new island, encounter tons of new powers and subspecies, and challenge yourself with 
with a new raid and tougher bosses. You can enjoy the new level cap as well and more content right now as a free update for all players starting today. This now includes co-op play as well with dedicated servers on Xbox, so it's well worth trying if you enjoyed the game previously or want to jump in for the very first time. If you missed out on the Xbox news last week, we have also seen the launch of War Tales on the previous generation of consoles, so you can dive into this right now on Xbox Game Pass. War Tales is an open world RPG in which you lead a group of mercenaries in their search for wealth across a massive medieval universe. You can explore the world, recruit companions, collect bounties and unravel the secrets of the tombs of the ancients. I always highly recommend this game to all RPG players out there and it even made our list of the best RPGs on Xbox Game Pass in 2024. With it being a new month, we do unfortunately have five games leaving the Game Pass library on the 15th of July and I will chuck these on screen now. The games leaving are Coffee Talk Episode 2 for Console Cloud and PC, Figment 2 Creed Valley for Console Cloud and PC, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion on PC, Toem the Cloud Console and PC version, and The Wandering Village also on Cloud Console and PC. Make sure to purchase these with your Game Pass discount if you want to keep them in your library forever, as you do get a nice 20% discount if you're part of the service. What Game Pass game are you looking forward to this July, and how would you rate the offering out of 10? Let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Xbox content every single week. Whilst here, why don't you check out our video on screen now of the 15 best completely free games on Xbox this 2024.